Tomorrow, thousands of Utah students will return from remote learning, heading back to the classroom. Well, Monday also marks the first day back to school in Salt Lake and Summit counties now that there's no longer a mask mandate in place. Fox 13's Emily Tenser is live tonight with educators' concerns as cases continue to surge. Emily, good evening. Brian, teachers tell me they're lacking stability and need to see some consistency. They don't know what these next few weeks are going to bring. They just hope they're not left scrambling again. Educators across Utah are now left wondering what's next. What other local control, classroom control, school control is going to be removed from the authority of the professionals? And uh, and 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 we are left with you know holding the pieces together students in the salt lake city school district jordan school district and others are coming back from a temporary switch to remote learning the districts hope those few days were enough to be the reset they needed before the decision for the whole district to go remote four of our schools had hit the two percent threshold or the 30 case counts needed that would trigger the test to stay protocol. Test to stay is suspended and county mask mandates gone. Utah Education Association President Heidi Matthews says teachers are at their breaking point. Boy, does it send a message when this authority is, is taken away, when there is constant inconsistencies of in-person, remote, you know, masks, no masks. Educators are already dealing with these switches while operating low on staff with substitutes hard to find. And just like everyone else, they too are getting sick. At one of our major high schools, they have 220 something employees. 58 of them were absent on one day. Salt Lake City schools are encouraging everyone to wear masks and get vaccinated to keep kids in classrooms. They're going to make a difference and they have already made a difference. Even in, amid the surge, it could have been so much worse if we hadn't had those things in place. A bill that officially ends the test to stay program is currently in motion on Capitol Hill. House Bill 183 has to go to the House again to get new amendments approved. If it passes, it'll then go to the governor. Reporting live outside East High, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.